How to add delivery time to Shopify product page. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and adding the estimated delivery time to your Shopify product page can definitely increase conversion and here is an example of how it will look after watching this tutorial and applying it to your Shopify store. The first thing you want to do is go onto your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select settings. After selecting settings, what I want you to do next is scroll down and you're going to tap on apps and sales channels. After selecting apps and sales channels, you're going to tap on Shopify app store in the top right hand corner. After selecting Shopify app store in the search bar, I want you to type in delivery date. After typing in delivery date, you'll be redirected to this page on which you'll see numerous apps that will allow you to add the delivery date. But the one that I would recommend you use is this one, Estimated Delivery Date Plus. As you can see that it is free and also it has a very high ratings. As you can see, it has over 453 reviews and it has a 5 star ratings. So all you'll need to do is tap on Add App. After you have tapped on Add App, you're going to select Install App. Once you have installed the app, what I want you to do next, let me tap on Open App. And you can see right here how the dashboard looks. Once you have installed the app, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do right where you see Estimated Delivery Date Plus, you are going to tap on Enable. Once you have enabled it, what I want you to do next is scroll down and you will see widget and you can see an example of how it looks right here. And by the way, to preview how it looks on your store, all you have to do is tap on preview on store and it will open up a product page. And from there, you'll be able to see how it looks by simply scrolling down. You can see it right there. And to edit it, all you have to do is simply scroll down. So if you would like to change any text, you could change the text right here. Or if you would like to change the font size or style, you can do that from the control panel right here. So any changes you would like to make to the text section, you can do that. All you have to do is tap right where I showed you a while ago in the text box. And by the way, as you can see right here by scrolling down, this is the progress bar widget. So this is the basic version as you can see right there. If you would like it to be advanced, you could tap on advanced right there and you can see how it looks. So if you would prefer the advanced one, all you have to do is tap on. After selecting advanced, you'll simply tap on save in the top right hand corner to save any changes you have made. And by the way, you can scroll down and you could edit the text section again right here where the other status tips description. You can change right here if you want. And also you can change the text right where you see order ready. You can enable this and you can change the text right there also. And order delivered, you can change the text right there also if you want. And next, you are going to scroll up and you are going to tap on settings. In settings, you can choose the date range. For example, it will automatically be set at five business days. But if you would like to include the weekends, you can. And this is the section in which you'll be able to add the minimum days and maximum days. So as you can see, the minimum day it would take for a delivery would be 10 days and the maximum would be 20 days as that's the average range for most job shipping products. So you can select those days or you can add more days if you want. And you can also change the date format if you want. And the beautiful thing about this app is it also comes with a countdown timer. So if you would like to change the countdown timer format, you can do that. Or if you would like to remove the countdown timer, you can also do that. As you have the option to edit it in whichever way you want. Again, you can scroll back up and you are going to tap on appearance. After tapping on appearance, you will see widget layout mode. 
So for example, you can see the progress bar is at the top right now and the message or the text section is below it. If you would prefer the message to be at top, you can simply tap on message text widget at top and you can see how it looks right there. Or if you would prefer for only the progress bar widget to be displayed, you could select progress bar widget. Or if you prefer for the message text alone, you can display it alone. But at the moment, I would prefer the progress bar at the top and then the text message below it. And you can also see widget placement method. It is automatically placed below the add to cart. But if you would like to place it somewhere else, you could select manual and then copy the code. Or if you would like it to be above the add to cart button, all you have to do is tap on above. And you can see right there. But at the moment, I prefer it below the Add to Cart button. And also, if you only want this widget to be displayed on product pages, you could tap on Only on Product instead of All Pages. And once you have done that, all you'll have to do now is scroll down. And from here, you'll be able to change the font style and text and color of the widget right here. And once you are finished doing all of the changes, let's say for example you want to change the icon color. You can tap on the color box. Then let's say I want to change it to a green color. All you have to do is tap on the green section. So let me do that real quick. Tap on the green section right there. And you can see the color has changed. And also if you would like to change the icon background color, you can do that by simply tapping on the box. Then after you have tapped on the box, you are going to tap on the square. Then after tapping on the square, you can tap on the progress circle, or better yet, the rectangle right here. So let's say I want it to be blue. You can see it right there. And you can also change the color of the progress line by tapping on the box again. Then from there, you can choose the color. Let's say I want it to be yellowish. All I have to do is tap right there. Then I can choose a yellow color. You can see how it looks now. Once you are finished doing all of your changes, you'll simply scroll back up and you are going to tap on save. Once it has been saved, I'm going to tap on preview on shop. So now I can see how it looks. And once the product page loads up, you'll be able to scroll down and you can see how the widget looks. As you can see right there, that is it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.